everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, today um, I wanted to do a flip of my personal planner. Um, if you've been here for a while, you'll know that I've always loved A6. Well, I was in A6 for like almost three years and it was just bay. I loved it. It was perfect. Um, but I just had the itching for personal. Um, I've used personal before. I had a file effects personal and I sold it. Um, and then I uh, tried A5 at the beginning of the year. I may have, have, I may have a flip of that on this channel um, when I did have the A5, but I wanted to show you guys um, my personal setup. I was in here, my more term um, black planner, um, black more term, loved it. Um, it was perfect. But then Cloth and Paper came out with um, their foundations planner. And I got this color. I didn't want to get another black, so I love this color. So let's get a little flip going. Um, and I'll try to be as thorough as possible. Um, I'm not going to promise to leave links, but if you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I just have this How to Budget card. This was in our June box. Um, this card from Cards and Paper. I keep these little notes over here, and they're just affirmations, my word of the week. And then I have these cards over here, and these just kind of help me plan my goals. And um, this is what I use to plan my weekly now. So I just kind of took those here. And here I just have some memo cards, um, shopping cards, and I want to say, uh, is that Sessa V, I believe I have those from, or Infinite Lotus. Um, not for sure where I got this card from. That's a great card. Over here in this side pocket, um, I normally keep um, little journaling cards with my information on it. Every time I go to the post office, I've been getting asked, like, what do I sell when I go to drop off my subscription boxes? So I've decided to start keeping some um, journaling cards over here like this. Like this was in our June box. So I had one over here. Let me put another one. Um, actually, I gave it to one of our customers in the salon today to check out my website. And then I have this card here. And then I'm just going to flip. We have the inbox cloth and paper. This was in our June box. And this is the Kanban board by cloth and paper. My absolute favorite. Love this. I love it. I use this more than like an inbox now. So I use it kind of as an inbox. Um, year overview. And spoiler alert. But these are also in our June box. And then this is just a year overview. And this is just, I like it because it has the quarter and I can kind of see things by the quarter opposed to by the month as well. Um, oh, and these dashboards are by Gracie, excuse me, these dividers are by Gracie Edits. And then this is how my maid looked. This insert here, calendar insert is by Rosie Paper Tree. And I had seen her, but I was really turned on to her by um, the Planner Girls, which is Brie. And then this is my June, and these came in our June box with cloth and paper. And then I've already kind of mapped out my July a little bit. I got to see these bills ahead of time, and it's mainly bills in here, um, events like my family reunion. And then normally I put in when I'm shipping the budget box i'll come back and do that because i really haven't finished setting up i was just mapping out some bills ahead of time and so and then these little calendars here i made for myself and they are what i use to do content planning i like to kind of have that on me even though i have a whole business planner i still want it here so i need to start working on july and next up, we have my goal section, which there's not much in here, but I have the task delegations in here for now. Um, next up is my work schedule. And also I got this dashboard from Rosie Paper Tree, y'all. It feels like better. It is the most beautiful dashboard I ever felt. Um, these inserts I make for myself. These are just timed scheduled inserts. And I use this as part of my salon section. So this is basically where my appointment book is. And I also put in like I have a class that I take on Tuesdays here. Doctor's appointments like today I had lab work. So I also refer to this as well. Uh, let's get into our weeklies. 
Um, and I'm using this, this is from Rosie Caper Tree. I'm using this as like a weekly dashboard. Got this idea from the Planner Girls, um, which is great as well. And I'm loving it, it's perfect. And so, that, and then these, um, I've talked about these on my Instagram, but I made these for myself as well. And I'm, I'm gonna bring them to the shop. I do have something similar like this in the shop already, but it doesn't have these faint lines to it. I did the faint lines because I'm a vertical girl. So to kind of keep me in vertical format and listing, um, that's the reason why I did it this way. And I changed the font. So my intention is to have these up very soon in this uh, shop. And then I was doing the Frankly Cubby method of the compass card and I got well I was kind of doing it on like these little half sheets here and then for the planner girls had suggested this one by um Elmon Paper Co and I used it one week I was very good when I did it this week but I I need something a little more structure I can't describe it but um I'm going to kind of just create my own um but this was last week I think and then, no, that was the end of May, sorry. And then this is the week that we're on. And I love these inserts that I made for myself. They're just perfect. Um, and I like, because over here, there's no particular way how to use these two sections. As you can see, I break it up into to-dos, to-buys. And then sometimes I'll put next week over here or just some type of reminder. I know what it's for, um, but... I love these inserts, but I'm also dying to use the new inserts from Cloth and Paper. Um, cloth and Paper, Cloth and Paper. This is just one of the journaling cards, and I just decided to punch it just for a little depth. And I keep affirmations here Cloth and Paper, Cloth and Paper. Um, now we go into my weeklies, and this is pretty much from the end of May to today, which is June. So we have one week out from the uh, first of the month so i wanted to go ahead and do this flip because y'all i got a new motorm planner that i'm going to switch into just for a while and then i'm gonna come back to this planner so these are my dailies and i i used to do dailies except for when i had a busy day but i find doing it creating a daily every day whether I plan it at night or I plan it in the morning. It's become a part of my routine now to do it. Um, it helps me, like, just think of things that I can't get um, here. You understand what I'm saying? So I like that. And it just gives me, like, a, a list. I'm a lister, so it allows me to create a list on a daily basis. So I'm really loving doing dailies now. And these inserts are by Cloth and Paper. I forgot the name of these particular um daily inserts but i like to use it because i can put an affirmation here or i can do bill dues here payday stuff just different things but i mainly use it for affirmations um, i think it's a renewed layout or something and then uh, this is another dashboard that was in this month's budget box but this was like kind of an oops it was the very first i think the color that i chose and then i changed it because of my printer, but I liked this color. That reminds me, I gotta send a message. And then another cloth and paper. Um, just my routines, fly lady uh, notes. And then here, these are the grid, I think, quads by cloth and paper. I'm using them for like a routine for myself and mainly for cleaning. I don't necessarily look at it. I don't necessarily use it, but this is what my ideal routine would be same as this here. This is my ideal morning routine. This is my ideal evening routine. I don't always follow it, but that's what it is. Um, so on Monday, this is what I like to do. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then every day, monthly, weekly, quarterly, and yearly. And I'm still kind of building um, to these lists. And then I'm working on decluttering my home. Um, I've been doing it all six months of the year <laughs> so i've kind of broke it down my decluttering how i'm going to do it in each room and what needs to go this is how my brain works um to write things down and look at it so i know in my office i had to get rid of makeup which i've kind of done um throw away unnecessary papers um clean up my nail supplies etc etc 
am in my living room, just the coffee table, the entry table, get those things decluttered. Um, my kitchen, throw away old pots and pans, declutter spices and the spice cabinet and declutter the pantry. And there's some other things I'm going to add to this because I'm actually kind of redoing my um, kitchen. And this is in my homebody section. That's what that says, homebody. So, yeah. And then just have that. And I, these are kind of my favorite um, little sticky notes that I use. Uh, this one's from my shop. Uh, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, and they look so much alike, you know? My, this one is a little warmer, I guess. But, um, yeah, so I keep those here for when I need to make a quick little small sticky note. And then here, I just use this affirmation sticky note by cloth and paper, just writing out some money affirmations because this is my finance section. And that same dashboard and I think this is the color that I ended up settling on um, not sure um, spending tracker and these were in uh, one of our uh, budget boxes can't remember our money goals that was in I think March was our money goals it may have been February so I have this in here as well and then this is my notes section and like I just did a brain dump of some things I need to do and this is for the June box and we had those so I just used those to um, cover up certain things. Oh no, here's the June box. And so I just made a checklist for myself and then used the black sticky notes just to kind of cover that up. And these are some things that I want to come up with um, for the shop and updates. And these are from cloth and paper. These are the dot grid executive notes. And then this was in maybe our December box. And then my commit to three card. And then this is just, dashboard is just miscellaneous. And the fly leaf from this planner, I have it in here. And then just some different cards here. And this was from Gracie Edits, love that card. And then just a task card, some more daily planning, and some of these old cards here from cloth and paper. And here I just have some pictures of my kids. Um, journaling cards, I'm gonna actually take that out. And then here, I'm gonna just take that out. And then in the, I, I got my favorite pen, the Uni One pen and it matches the planner to me and then in the back these are the only kind of stickers that i carry with me are the ice milk tab stickers from my shop ice milk um mini dots from my shop total boxes because i use these in my schedule section of my appointments and i have these from sweet caress um, I have these icons, these some blush icons I made, excuse me, some highlighted icons that I made for myself, and I was supposed to bring them to the shop, I never did, so I gotta <laughs> update that, and it's been over a year since I did these. Um, some more sweet caress stickers, some tab blush stickers, these from the Coffee Monster Co. I've had these, y'all, literally for years. This is my very first order, and probably my own, only order, and they've just lasted me because I kind of don't do a lot of deco, so... And then these, like the total boxes, I need. I have plenty of these in my planner because that's what I, like I said, what I use to put on my um, schedule so I can get my totals for the day. Um, I'll show you guys that real quick. So let's go to, so here, as y'all can see, I use them here to write my totals out. I normally do black. I mainly do black, but I ran low on black, so I had those, so got to keep those. But that's it, you guys. That is the flip of my um, cloth and paper foundations planner. I love this planner. Oh, my God. And like I said, I'm just going to dip over here for a minute, but um, I'll be back into this. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.